Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV. Stu Jones here with members of the Florida Power Boat Club for number one Uno of 2015. It's going to be an exciting day as we have 20 or 25 boats, cars, motorcycles, and aircraft joining us today to head for the Florida Keys. Where are we going? We're going to Marathon in the middle of the Florida Keys to the destination, the Faro Blanco Yacht Club and Resort, a brand new facility, and we are going to be the first club to join them for a weekend of fun in the Florida Keys. While winter is snowy and cold across the rest of the nation, here we are in Florida on a beautiful January day. A little breezy here on the dock. Winds coming out of the east, not going to affect us today because we are going down in the protected waters of Biscayne Bay and Florida Bay. The first event of 2015, the Winter Poker Run. Let's go. I want to thank Grove Harbor Marina here in Coconut Grove. Now over 10 years we've been working with this marina and these guys go out of their way to entertain the Florida Power Boat Club every event. It's a historic location with indoor and outdoor storage as well as all kinds of in-water slips for big yachts. And with today, it's all power boats, though. We're cruising into Grove Harbor, rafting up, getting fueled up and ready for the start as the girls get a few nice pictures before we get started to do our first card here shortly. A very eclectic mix of both people and boats here on today's run. We've got people who have joined us from all over the country to be on this event in a variety of boats, including center consoles, offshore V-bottoms, and big offshore cats. Now, those sailboats aren't with us, and that one that's tipped over, well, that had nothing to do with our boats. It was just a windy day, and they're part of the sailing school that's based next door. A very warm day here as we get started at Grove Harbor, and who'd have thought that the girls would already have their bikinis on at 11 o'clock in the morning in the middle of January. That's why these people just keep coming back to the Florida Powerboat Club to head down on these events to the Florida Keys. There's a nice cigarette, Mark Monroe. They came in all the way from New Jersey. And here's the ladies of Team Artemis. A lot of them are in from out of town to join Bob Berg on his big 50-foot Nortec to take part in this first season kickoff event for 2015. Now remember, as the captains navigate up close to the dock, there's always a chance they might bump into the dock and get a little dock rash on their paint jobs, but not with the guys at Grove Harbor. They've got the equipment. These boxing gloves are on the end of a pole, and they help the captains to keep the boats clean away from the dock as the ladies reach over and pick up their first poker card. Now, for many of you who have watched these episodes, you know that this is a poker run, and all these teams are going to gather up a total of five cards today, and throughout the weekend, they're going to play on Saturday night for big prizes. Remember that this event is a land, air, and sea format, so while these boats are at sea all day, there are also motorcycles, cars, and even aircraft joining us for the ride down to Marathon. There's a 39-foot cigarette top gun powered by Mercury Racing 700s. Here's a 39-foot contender center console. And here's a big 38-foot skater with huge power, 150-mile-an-hour boat. It looks like Brittany and Danielle have selected the big fast boat for their ride today. Time to get running, and we're going to join Louis Sotero in his Sea Ray aircraft today. And we'll also be on board with John Hines in his 39-foot Outer Limits, powered by Mercury Racing 525s. It's fast and furious today, both on sea and in the air, and as well as cars and motorcycles cruising down US-1 to meet us at the next checkpoint. We changed up our video format for this episode with this in-cockpit camera as well as this wing-mounted camera on the Sea Ray. I hope you enjoy the shots as we head down towards Key Largo. highlights of Florida Powerboat Club's Winter Poker Run to Marathon right here on Powerboating in Paradise TV. We'll be right back. Once upon a time, there was a beauty and there was a beast. Feast your eyes on the beauty that is Deep Impact. Sleek, elegant, and fast, Deep Impact custom boats will turn heads with their luxurious, unique styling. Sexy is an understatement. Get into the beast mode and get to the fish faster with a brand new custom-built Blackwater. These boats are handcrafted one at a time. Sea trial yours today. Deep Impact custom boats and Blackwater boats. Available exclusively at BoatsDirectUSA.com. Mile marker 98 in the middle. Key Largo. 
This is a red stick, and it's what Tabasco pepper growers use to tell when a pepper is just perfect. And it's the secret behind my new Popeye's red stick chicken. I marinate white meat tenderloins in Tabasco pepper marinade, pan batter them, and fry them up fresh. And right now you get four red stick tenderloins with fries, a biscuit, and my smoking pepper ranch dipping sauce for just $3.99. Popeye's red stick chicken. Pick a perfect pepper, people, and this is what you get. Power Boaters, it's time to check out Offshore Performance Marine, your performance headquarters in Fort Pierce. OPM provides service, rigging, transportation, and storage for power boats from high performance stern drives to outboard center consoles and inboard cruisers. They'll safely store your boat at low rates and provide experience hauling throughout Florida, or OPM can launch your boat at any boat ramp so you can enjoy intracoastal cruising, offshore fishing, or waterfront dining at any of the hotspots along Florida's Treasure Coast. Call OPM today. If you enjoy power boating and fun in the sun, Florida Power Boat Club has everything you need. We plan the best events and get you there safely to the hottest boating destinations in Florida. But you don't have to own a boat to enjoy the lifestyle. Social membership starts at just 69 bucks and includes the Power Boating in Paradise magazine, club t-shirt, exciting DVD and party invitations. Call our Pompano Beach headquarters, like us on Facebook, or visit flpowerboat.com. It's time to get in on the fun. Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV. This is Stu Jones with members of the Florida Power Boat Club on the first event for the 2015 season, the Winter Poker Run to Marathon. We're currently in Key Largo as we arrive here in Jewfish Creek, wandering our way up to the docks at Gilbert's shortly for lunch and poker card number two. We've got a mix of power boats as well as motorcycles, cars, and even aircraft today participating in this very scenic poker run from Miami all the way to Marathon. Here's Louis Sotero up here in his Sea Ray aircraft providing all the aerial images for the first leg of the run as we now arrive at Gilbert's Resort in Key Largo. Fantastic scenery as these boats arrive here in Key Largo. And you'll notice that there's kind of a flow as all the boats are arriving. There's a reason for that. First of all, there's the first two in the front row. Of course, those are the big fast cats. They're part of the high performance class. Those boats are running 140, 150, even faster at times as they reach out and spread their wings heading down through Biscayne Bay. Of course, then you have the performance class boats, which are mostly the bottoms with 700 or 800 horsepower aside, they're going to be cruising between 70 to 80 miles per hour pretty much most of the time. Then, of course, we have the sport boat class. Those are going to be the center console boats, typically outboard boats, running 55 to 60 miles per hour. So that explains why there's a continuous flow of boats as they arrive here. Keeping this event right on schedule, arriving now at Gilbert's just a little after 12 noon here and a beautiful day in the Florida Keys it is. We've got everybody all settled in here for a wonderful reception here at Gilbert's in Key Largo. I know they have a nice lunch planned for us, so I'm kind of hungry. Let's go check it out. Hey, y'all, that was Captain Stu. Been working with Stu for a while now, and we hope to continue working with Stu and you. Always nice to have Bobby Brown as our entertainer here at Gilbert's. And uh, Bobby's not just another guy with a guitar. In fact, Bobby is a legendary performer that is known throughout the Florida Keys, has performed down here for decades, and has music credits that include a Grammy, and he's played with Jimmy Buffett's band over the years. I can't think of a better way to have a perfect vibe as we arrive here in the Florida Keys for our weekend in tropical paradise. 
Rick Johanna came all the way from Minnesota. You must be happy to be out of the cold here in South Florida and join your 40-foot advantage. It's an amazing day out here. Boat's running great. Can't get any better than this. Thanks for entertaining our photographer who was on board to get some pictures at that Absolutely. first card exchange. Now, you've done a few poker runs with the club so far. What's been your favorite one over the last Key few West. years? Oh, Key West is best, my best one so far, so I love it. Well, with Bobby's great music as a backdrop, uh, our girls of FPC, Brittany on the left and Danielle on the right, are taking care of the task of handing out the poker cards for checkpoint number two here at Gilbert's and Key Largo. These teams are going to gather up their cards and turn them in the next day as we compete for the grand prize in three classes, air, land, and sea. I want to remind everybody what a great staff and what a great feeling we have every time we arrive here at Gilbert's and Key Largo. We've got the new owners who took over the property just this past fall. I want to thank John and his general manager, Rob, for rolling out the red carpet and for all the staff at Gilbert's to treat us like family. Join power boaters from around the nation as Smokin' the Sound Poker Run returns to Biloxi for a fun-filled weekend on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, May 29th to 30th. This exciting event combines great boating in coastal waters with calm backwaters and scenic bayous, visiting all the area's waterfront hotspots. The Golden Nugget Casino rolls out the red carpet with great accommodations, entertainment, and a whopping $25,000 prize purse. Sign up now at SmokinTheSound.com or call the number on your screen now. In the world of racing, there's only one thing that matters, results. The pros are taking notice of the latest in fuel technology, Boostane. Boostane is an engineered octane concentrate that delivers on its promises. Promises that are documented by independent testing facilities, safe to use in any internal combustion engine. Boostane can achieve octane levels previously unattainable in the fuel additive market. Want race fuel at a fraction of the cost? Simply follow the quick ratio chart to achieve your desired octane level with Boostane. Welcome back to highlights of the first event for the Florida Powerboat Club in 2015, the Winter Poker Run to Marathon, brought to you by Marathon in the Florida Keys. One of our Florida Powerboat Club members, Louis Sotero, told me that, you know, Stu, I would normally bring my boat on the event, but this time I'm going to bring my other boat, and that's the one that flies. Uh, so we opened this event up to airplanes. We got airplanes. Uh, Louis, this Sea Ray is probably the coolest thing that we've had on a poker run in a long time. Uh, you flew alongside us uh, pretty much the whole way down, and then you set her down in the water, you beached it, and had lunch with us here at Gilbert's. It's amazing owning one of these things. How did you come into this? I came into it uh, about 10 years ago. Saw some guy flying a little ultralight. Decided I wanted to uh, fly in the water, land in the water, and had the best of all worlds. I always wanted a Sea Ray. Flew up to Tallahassee, brought one, brought it home, and it's been a love affair ever since. Now, uh, what people might not realize is that 
This paint job, if you look really closely, and if you're a cigarette expert, you'll know that this is one of the traditional red and white paint jobs for cigarette from back in the 90s. It matches exactly your 38-foot Top Gun. Yes, it does. It's an experimental aircraft, so it's something that you can build. In fact, the requirements are that you do build it yourself for the most part. And tell us what flying licenses or requirements you must have to fly this aircraft. Licensing is basically a um, life sport certification where all you basically need is a driver's license. I want to say I think this is a first for the Florida Powerboat Club on this winter poker run. Let's meet some of today's players. Here's Michael Chasuli, came all the way from New Jersey. He's a Florida Powerboat Club veteran in this Skater 388. Here's Gino Gargiulo. He joined us for the day trip. This is his 48-foot MTI powered by Mercury Racing 1350s called Raging Bull Lamborghini. Now here's Christian McCauley. He's all the way from New Hampshire. He came onto the scene a couple of years ago. This is a 36-foot Nortex Supercat. He calls it Team Inst now here's Chris Ribeiro from Texas. It's his first poker run with Florida Powerboat Club in this 45-foot cigarette. I got a chance to ride along. Now let's catch up with the teams as they visit checkpoint number three, which 